Hello everyone, Troopa Base, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy V for Job Fiesta. Last time we made our way over to it towards the ruins where it was rumored that, that Lena and as we found out Ferris's father as well, King Tycoon, was over there, and then we but we ended up over here back to Crescent Island though, where we got managed to get the airship. And now we can explore a lot more though, and this thing is actually really fast. And you're not gonna run into enemies while on this thing here though. So, so we could go look. We could go back over there, though, to try to see if we can get back to finding to find King Tycoon over there, though. But first of all, I want to head back over to. I want to head back over here first, over to Castle Tycoon, though, because for a couple of reasons, though. First of all, the, the, there's like another free heal that you can get over here, though, and also, and also, there's a little bit more here that now that's here now that we've have the truth unveiled. Now, we'll take care, of guys, while you're away. And won't you rest in the palace tonight? Yes, yeah, so at least it's a free heal. Because I because I never did because I never did heal after after fighting Crayclaw last time there. But yeah, now we got ourselves a another little scene here. Yeah, Lenny, you awake? Yeah, is something wrong? Not wrong, just strange. I was just a wee last when I fell overboard. Between that and and the shock, I forgot a lot of my life here. Ferris, Sarissa. So, so yeah, they finally dropped that name too for that one though. The reason being back here, just being in this room is making those memories return. But yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, Len actually did call Ferris by her by her sister's name, Sarissa. Kira, Kira, Kiraga. So guys, there's a little bit of a flashback here. All right, that's enough for today. Phew. It's like, you know, has asked you to put Princess Lena to bed. Take care of that while, you ma while I mark your test, please. Okay. And and come straight back here. No dawdling. You know when they, you when you say something like that, though, that's just begging for them to, to, to dawdle and delay coming back there. You know, come on, you ought to know how those tropes work. I let it. Tomorrow, me and Papa are gonna ride the wind drake. Aw, the lion is supposed to be the best thing ever. And we look down at them, all the people that are supposed to are supposed to look like they cast float on themselves. That to say, are you sure about that one? Wait, no, no, float, but toad, teleport, up, uh, mini, yeah, mini. Yeah, that that that's more like it though. And. You think? You only you only told her no, Donald. And that's just uh, that's just indication for to just well, Donald. And ah, like I said, a nice sisterly moment there. Sarissa, yeah. Perhaps we should keep this a secret from the Chancellor for now. He would only make a big fuss if he knew. He certainly wouldn't let you leave the palace again. Yeah, good point. I was about to say, like, are you sure about that? But then you made... Th but I was I was are you sure about that, though? Something important like the other princess being found they found in return? It's like, yeah, but yeah, I see, your, I see your point. But yeah, that scene will only play after you have... After you've gone through Gone and, and Ferris does officially reveal that... You, like does finally does uh, does finally admit that yes she is indeed Lena's sister. Now I actually want to head back over in this direction here because there was a because there was an area up here that I forgot to go to my last visit here that actually has some. Actually no I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong direction never mind that was that was where that that was where we first heard the name Sarissa because we to, as we talked to that to basically as it turns out Sarissa's teacher. But we now went over here to the King's Chambers last time. We're up over in, in this direction over here, though. There's a way up here to... There's like a room up here, though, where... You're gonna have quite a few of these jars here, though. And they have items in there, like ether. Like, there's like an ether there. There's also an elixir there. A phoenix down there. And even a maiden's kiss, so we can cure Toad there, so... That, though. But otherwise, it's just mostly going around there, though. I, I, I'll go ahead and just show this real fast. This is the this is where we saw that opening cutscene. Where we saw Lena in that opening cutscene. Like, 
like of the game, like the very, the, like the very first cutscene of the game when you start a new game, where you see Lena getting worried for her father and, and the Wind Drake. But yeah, I, 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 I'm trying to remember if there's other cutscenes as well. Though. Like I know about the one where we go between, where basically between the first chance that you can get to go in there, you basically see that Lena is suspicious of this though, like she thinks that it's. Where she's suspecting that Ferris is her sister, and then you get that scene after it's it is well after Ferris does officially confirm it. But but that's not all that we want to do around over here though. I should also mention as well though, airships like airships cannot land in the cannot land in the desert. So this pyramid we still, we can't do anything about. Also cannot land in the mountain as well though. But you can, it can land in the water or any part of the field or, or in any field here. But also, I want to bring note over to over here as well. We got a place over here called Jackal. I'm gonna pass by the aim because we just healed up though. But there's some good, but there's some stuff for us to do here as well. There's something kept kept on the, on the Crescent Island though. So actually, hang on. I want to go. I want to check this out first. I have to know something here though, because this is the path over here though. The, I could have gone here a lot sooner actually. Pretty as soon as we had the regular ship, we could have gone here though. So that, so some of the stuff there was, so some of the stuff that people mentioned here was supposed to be a hint for something that we were supposed for what we were, what we ended up getting though. So yeah, not exactly, the, wasn't exactly my plan there. I was always full of adventure trying to find treasure in the nor in the northern cave. So it's a kind of a hint there. Full of traps left by the ancients. Watch yourself. And what do you gotta say there? You, you kids and you foolhardy sense of adventure. Fah! Alrighty then, so wait patiently on the road with the skull switches and the truth will be revealed. Okay, that's a bit of a hit there. Follow the way to cave and climb the wall takes you up outside. But there's also a, there's also a piano over there as well. Okay, it's been pretty fun by now, but some of the chests you see have already been looted. You wouldn't think there's much point in checking them out, but try it. Maybe, maybe it's something to do with the ancient's traps. We got ourselves another piano over here where we can level up our piano scales even more. Still better than me. And also, we're gonna talk to this dancer right here, and... Parts is joining in on this one, though. Come on up and join us. Alrighty then, so... And you on the other side of the screen! <laughs> the fourth wall break! <laughs> one more time! The, the fourth wall break! That, that's kind of. Uh, I think I, is it the first time I've actually seen a aside from like a tutorial thing I, where it actually breaks the fourth wall like that though. I don't remember. But but, but okay but okay. We weapon and armor shop over here though. The, we got the green beret, which mm, let me see. I'm I'm gonna want to see what I've got equipped on them already first before I do that though. That's the one that prevents silence. I'm gonna try that on them. That's a whole though. I'll go ahead and get a ninja suit for Galuf. And let me check the, my equipment here and see what does. Light cap, so that's. Actually, that, that beret might help out, actually. That green beret might actually help out, actually, though. So, first, let me get. The. Okay, ninja suit there. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That that's actually pretty good to have for for Galof there though, because it, it's boosting up some. I mean, it's boosting up it boosts up his speed a bit though. Also boosts his defense and also reduces his weight, so he, that means he can move faster anyway. So uh, I'm trying to think how I want to do this though, uh, because honestly, with some of the stuff coming up though, that little bit of defense isn't gonna help much though. Weapon shop over here. The ogre killer though, we can't you can't equip axes right now though. We got the coral sword that I want can use though. Sword infuses the power of lightning. I want to at least get a. I, I don't want to get all those net. Let's see, mage masher knife that sometimes sounds his enemies. I'll go ahead and get one of those. I'll go ahead and get a coral sword as well, because those are all going to be really helpful. Weapons in effect. Actually, I think Bart's can actually make some good use of. Uh, can make good use of the, especially as a knight, he can make good use of the of the, of the coral sword there. Magic shop over here. I think it's 
stuff we've already got. Let's see here, though. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I believe I got. Let's have. I believe I got these already. Yep, got. Yep, got them already. So, so just a. I'm not sure if you missed some white magic spells there, though. But I think that's everything here. So, we're gonna go on ahead and head on out of here real fast, and and I'm gonna go check out that cave real fast here. And then we're gonna go up over here and the jackal cave. This is the th cave that we we're being told about here, though. And I'm making sure I'm fully healed, though. Okay. This this cave right here. For the most part, it isn't so bad, though. There is a very nasty enemy here, though. And it's one where pretty much you're going to want to run from it, though. And uh, it, It's not these guys, though. We haven't seen these guys in quite some time. You can literally just tap these guys. Basically hit them with the, your weak attacks, and they'll die pretty quickly. Because seriously, they do like so little damage there, and they take, they take next to nothing. So, and I think these—I think we've seen these guys back at the beginning of the game, actually. Though they weren't too common, though. But you get do, you get two job points from them, though. So that that is very nice to, to see, though. So like the, like the one was saying, though, wait patiently, and the truth will be revealed. So it'll 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 so what that does it'll it'll give you more. Let's tell you which skull to actually hit, though. And I hate that the rods do do random damage. Okay, so let's hit. Oh, great. Okay, I got to Hurry over there. So there's a... There's a time there. There's... Oh, crap! Skull Eater! I'm out of here! That is the enemy that I was worried about, though. That That is one of those super enemies, though, that... There's no... The, with my current job set up right now, I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about them right now. There's almost no point in me healing, though, because... Because, because quite frankly, though, like, those things can pretty much one-shot you, though. Oh! Bart! Hello! Way to go! That's also another good thing as well, that Bart's can also cover for Galif as well, as a, as a knight. Do not use magic on them, though, because here's the thing, though. If you use magic on them, though, chances are you won't do any damage to it, though, and then, and then like, five more show up. And then you will really get wrecked. Now there is one thing though, like other thing that can happen though, and it's actually quite funny when it does, is that those skull eaters can also flee just about instantly though. So hopefully I can get a chance to show it though. But in any case, okay, the main gauche, they're kind of L let me dodge that one there. So that's gonna be nice. So yeah, Bart's actually gonna be. Quite, quite nice up though between the main gauche and the and the shield there. So, go leader though. Ow! See what I mean? These things hurt. And uh, Lena, oh, why? I, I keep trying to do magic. I keep overshooting it. You know, so little health, right? I, I know it's weird to keep, keep me at so little, health, so low health right now. But honestly, the skull eaters are the only things you have to worry about here, though. Aside from that, though, the, these things fall very fast, though, and I'm, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to cut out only one of those right now because I haven't shut up with these, though. But the reason we're in this cave, though, is that there are some items over here, and let's go ahead and get get around. Let's go ahead and just. Not have to deal with you guys here. Again, like these guys fall way too easily. To have, but pretty much by the time I finish my thought th that I was on from before, they're pretty much already down. So at least a, this is a this is it, this may seem like an okay place to to farm. Preemptive strike. I'm out. I, I, again, I don't really have anything that really can really hurt it right now. It's, it's, it's stats are too high right now. Although actually, I do kind of want to try something here though. And doing z missing and doing zero damage with with that uh, with those rods are is not is not it though at least at least kick can help with that though. But the thing is though, the thing I want to go ahead and try 
is actually I'm going to go ahead and switch an ability on Bart and give him two-handed. So, so, so he doesn't have the doesn't have the shield anymore though. But now that he's got those equipped though, the two-handed ability, Bart will now do twice the damage with that though. And I'm not sure it's enough. I, I, although I don't think it's enough for a skull eater though. It's something I want to try though. Another thing though is that the skull eaters also have really high evasion though. So, it, so I might, so even with the even with the boosted attack, I may not even hit him. I mean, there are ways to beat them though. Pretty it, with certain jobs though. My jobs. Don't have that luxury though. Okay, we we got okay. We threw that one there, and there's one more chest over there that I want to try to get to as well. Assume, uh, this is gonna this is immediately gonna be a bit annoying. All right, but there's one more chest down over here. I said there's one more chest over here if I can get to it though. Blitz whip. That can't can't equip that though. But but let's but I want to at least show what that is. And that is right over there, though. Blitz whip, whip with the power of lightning, full power from back, from back row. Fortunately, we don't have anyone that could equip whips, though. That's pretty much freelancers, beast masters, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's another one, though. I may be forgetting one. Again, at least it's, at least a good thing though, is it's giving me it's giving me job it is giving me job points though, and it's just, this is actually one of the places that can give you higher job point yields though, and even. And if you can get past the skull leader, though, it drops. It gives you like five job points right there. But you gotta have it. You get the gold runs. will have we'll have ways around it though, around those there. But again, my party there. Go up to this wall right here though, and it'll take you to an outside point though. That's that was something to talk about there. So it's a place if you want to go ahead and rest up a tent, throw up a tent and rest before you do that though. Again, given the only threats to skull leader, who's gonna be one shot at me anyway though, I'm I'm not too worried about that. But okay, so I think that's everything here. Now we just gotta work our way out of here, though, and tr and and try not to die. Case in point. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. Let's go ahead and cure cure Ferris here. There is still one thing that the Skull Leader can do that I haven't actually shown yet, though, and it's and, and it's pretty funny when it does happen. Please do it. Please do it. It did. It, it, it can just run away. It flee instantly, though. You don't get experience from it, though, but you still get the job points from it, though. So yeah, if the Skull Leader runs away, you get you basically get free job points. And, and like, and, and that's the same amount of job points you would have gotten if you actually were able to kill it. So again, this is, it, this is a bit of a spot for for job point farming though it's definitely not the most consistent though because those skull eaters will will destroy you can will destroy you at this point in the game so you hit that switch over there though and I think you gotta hit no that's to open up the other way though they're end up out let's heal up let's heal up Bart's let's raise Bart's again and let's, and then now just hit the switch to open. Up, it'll, it'll close that area back up there, but and open up the way out for us there. So nice little thing over there, though, for us though. But in any case, though, that was the stuff I wanted to show fast though. And if we go back towards the, the town where we saw, where we saw King Tycoon, the town. Became a big sandy desert thing though, and uh. Ooh. That's the thing. Got a, got a flying fortress. Which is nowhere to be seen on this map right now here. So, uh... Yeah, that's, that's, this is a problem. But in any case, though, if there's a problem... If there's, if there's, a, pro if there's a problem where we get it stuck, we take it to Sid. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna heal up. I'm, I'm definitely gonna want to heal up at, in a bit, though. So let's gonna go, go to the bridge. Though they'll already be. Yeah, we got an issue here, though. We saw the ruins of the telescope. Ruins. This is bad. The Earth crystal's way up there. Oh. The ancient rockets amplified the Earth crystal to make the town float. But once they realized amplifying the crystal could make it shatter, they stopped the machine. 
So they found out about this a long time ago. That means somebody's turned the machine back on. I wonder who. It could. You don't think that father never? He would never do such a thing. Y'all did see how he was like how aloof he was. The very time he was acting in the town, though, it's like uh, surely he would have said something to y'all. How was supposed to get that high? So, so looks like I for that though. With this adamantite, reinforce the ship with it. It'll fly higher, but we need to find some more. Galif? That's simple enough. The meteorite I came here in, I remember seeing some adamantite reserves inside. Are you sure? Like you call me you call me a liar? I was like, no, it's like yeah, your memory's still kinda of spotty, right? The adamantite part is clear as day. Well if you're sure, then let's let's check it out then. We'll stay we'll stay and get things prepared. You guys hurry and bring some adamantite. I'm gonna actually go back into that room over there because yeah, because as you can go across to the fire ship as well as as well as come across over this way here to actually be able to well be, be, is to go back this way that we came through here to heal up though it's, that's not correct I am already forgetting the directions of things in this in this in this, in this place here. Because remember, there's a spot where we can rest. I, I rest up a bit though. It's like I held, I held the down, I held the down key too long. Because again, getting the snot beat out of me by those skull eaters, I needed to, I need to heal up fast. So, as you can see, that Sid, Sid is over there, and also to kind of give you an idea how where the job points sit as well. Well, let's actually see if any. Let's see if let's see. Knight is just about halfway there, though. Gallop is getting close to go. Get is actually not too far from getting reaching level five on this. So, oh right, gotta push the switch to open the door. Yeah, that does not that door doesn't stay open. You have to push the switch every time. But now that we have, but we have our next task. So let's go on ahead and let's go again. Good place to, to check out. Let's go check out that meteorite. If I can get behind the. If I can get behind the helm of the ship, that is. So that means we're gonna. So that means the Persian journey is kind of almost, in a way, come a little full, full circle because we just kind of started off right over here, though, and now we have to come back over here. And then, from, from, and then from there, we can now just. Actually, wait. Before I do that, though, I'm, I'm equipping. I'm, I'm getting the frost rods back on. I'm getting the frost rods back on though because we're about to be dealing. Because yeah, big shock. We go for something plot important. There's gonna be something in our way though, and you're gonna want something. You're gonna want strong ice for this. Then we go in here though, and it's around here. I'm sure of it. Get the meat so the, so the meteorites open. I think if you, I don't think you can. I don't think you you can examine that for anything though. Less than that, but. There it is. How about that pretty sharp memory, huh? How would it, how would an amnesiac like you know? <laughs> wow! And he's still, like, I'm still laughing it off though. So we got the we got the important adamantite though. But of course it can't be that simple. Boss time! Anime, anime toys! Bl bl blizzara, 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 this thing! This thing hits pretty dang hard! It and it can even double attack there, so... But again, again, the, your main focus right now is keep your mages alive and, and go, for, go for anything ice related, though in fact, actually... Galov, Bartz, I'm gonna say y'all... Stay on the defense. Stay on the defensive here, though. This is pretty much going to be Lena and Ferris's fight, though. The critical attack. Yeah, the, at least I get to show the guard ability, though, because because Bart basically took that hit for completely completely free, though. But it does use up the turn. But I think it only takes one hit for free, though. And you've got to be close to dead. 
Yep, that was it though. So Bart's kind of stole the kill on that one though. But again, couldn't have been that simple though. But again, like again, being being weak to Blizzard, but be, to the ice spells though, makes that again. If you got that though, he's a complete joke though. It's just he hits hard. Not really a whole lot to him. To the Ad Adamant Toys though. So well, now let's go back to the. But now that we got the Adamantite. Let's go back to Sid. If I can land on the pad, that is. So now let's go and... Here they come. But we got it. Got the Adamantite. G give it here so we can install it. You guys take a break. And so they're going to go to work down there and I think... Go that go that way, Owen. Them, they are everywhere with this though. It's like apparently they use double team in order to to make the scene work. What was that? Weird. I dreamt that the airship was already finished. I don't think that was a dream. Yeah, rise and shine. It's done. <laughs> You 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 work fast. After you, after you lift off, press the A button to fly higher. So this we can go to the floating ruins. Yep. Y yes, we can. We can fly higher, so we should be able to reach the technically yes belt. Take a gander at this. What's the problem? The floating city is equipped with a heavy defense system. Oh no! If you don't disable it, you won't be able to add to. Oh no! I remember this. The cannons are really powerful. Oh no, not that boss. So we must go, no question about it. Honestly, what's a couple of overblown pop guns against the likes of us? Oh man, no, this. This fights. Oh no, and I don't I don't have I don't have a way to wield Isuna either. Because because Red Mage can't use that. Oh no, it's gonna make more sense, but yeah, I am dreading this fight. Okay, but yeah, that, that, but yeah, that stop there did, but that stop there did heal everyone else. I'm gonna go park, I'm gonna basically set this airship to be over here though, cause I, and then I'm gonna go up here, cause I'm definitely gonna have to take some time to go, to stop back down and heal. But now that we're up here though, we kind of have like a little mini map of our own here, around these ruins, where we have these can't, where there's things going around here, though. There's these cannons off to the side that we can do this. And actually, before I do that, we're dealing with mechanical stuff. We're doing mechanical stuff, though. Thunder rods are going to come in handy for the boot because a lot of stuff here is going to because a lot because this thing because the cannons are going to be weak to thunder. So we're going to do a lot of damage, though. And also the fact that Bart's has the the coral sword to do lightning damage, though, is going to help out a lot as well. Go up to each one, though, and. And a missile that's gonna hurt. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try to see if we take one of them out real fast. Yeah, this is the point where Monk starts to fall behind a bit, though. And yeah, like I said, it took it took quite a bit of damage though. So missile, okay. That. Thank goodness. So I should be able to kill this one with the same strategy. So, uh, like I said, this is. Like I said, th th this part's the part's not too bad though, but they can do some serious. They, they can do some decent damage. Also, I believe that some of these things, all things also drop blue magic. There's some of the things that we have here are blue magic spells though. I'm trying to remember if missile is or not though. And we only got job points though, so we didn't even get experience for that though. And. I'm gonna heal. You, you players are gonna want to heal between each, between each of these there. Each of these things here, though. So, but and, all, and the outside part though, are that's a rocket launcher though. So, uh, oh no! Oh crap! No! 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 Oh no! They're confused. Oh no! Um, oh my gosh, this is this, this bad.
Thanks, Gallop. I could smack them though with that. I could I could hit them though, but. So that, okay, that's at least one down. Okay, this is bad. Mini. Okay, thank goodness it missed. Ow. Okay, yeah, this is pretty bad. Ferris, I'm going to need you to heal everyone right now. What I'm waiting for is some, one of them to actually smack themselves that way. They, because... It, because Hitting over the regular physical attack. Well, I don't have to worry about Lena now because Gallop just knocked her out. At least Lena, at least Lena's back on our side now. Oh gosh, that was that was. Yeah, that 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 was bad. You you can run away from this though, and it'll save the progress of this at least though. So let's go ahead and let's retreat and heal a bit though, because that was <laughs> that that was bad. The stupid rocket punch move though. It's it's a really annoying move. It does like half damage and will and will confuse the target as well. So it's it's a really really bad move there. Although I think you can block it with shields, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, I think shields can't have a chance to block it, because I think it is considered physical. But now let's hurry on back over there. Though we're gonna try to take out the other. Now we have to try to take out the other the other side of it too. And, and again, like I didn't mention it before, just, just push down to and you. You can push the direction you want to go with it, though, to be to, to change that direction. But the, but yeah, the two on the right on the left side are down. Now we gotta take the two on the right. It more rocket launchers? Seriously? Because I remember seeing someone else go through this though, and it was different what they were. Still the fact that these things have like so much can take could I did not mean to do that. I messed that up. Those are Gals now hiding in the back. At least it'll be she a bit though. Gals not doing a whole gonna be doing a whole lot right now. In fact actually I'm thinking about switching some things around. Although the missile didn't didn't affect that though. It it didn't affect the damage. Would that have been, would actually would that actually have KO'd it if I had not been had not been in the back there? Galloth, you kind of need to heal a bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the give you that one though, because you're the only one who took damage from that one. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna. Okay, okay. No, it it didn't save the it didn't save the row. That was just that was just for that fight. So go in front of that one though. No, for that one though, no. flamethrower. Oh no, crap! No, I didn't want to do. Ah, oh, the stupid D pad! I hit down and it kind of read it as a down, as a down left. Come on, Galif, I really need you to crit. No. Well, it's a two handed coral sword. That still did it, though, so at least. Nothing really. But, but yeah, Flamethrower, I believe, is a blue magic spell that you can learn. And that's did a lot of damage right there. And then... I did it again! Frick! F*** this D-pad! I swear... And fast went down because of that! I don't want Ferris to lose job points as well. I mean, I know I'm not really missing experience on anyone though, that though, but job points. Oh my gosh, I am doing bad right now. So that's, that's so that those four down. So much for the defenses. What what's that? Yep. 
It's about to pull out the big guns now. Yep, there it is. Look at the size of it, though. Guess there's one last thing to take care of. Yep, that is the case. We are we are retreating because we are low on health and and you're gonna need, you're gonna want all the MP you need you want for this thing here. So we're gonna retreat, heal up real fast, and and then we're gonna and then we're gonna take a shot at it, though. And also, highly recommend saving before it, though, because that is the boss. So I'm I'm definitely gonna save before I do this. Because if I don't save, because I don't think I've saved yet though, so that means I might, if I, if I don't save, I might have to do a good bit of this again. So let's go ahead and, let's, let's leave, let's go ahead and leave town right now. And let's save here real fast. And this fight's also a bit tedious too. I'm being paranoid right now. Like, I, I did save, right? Yeah, I did save. Okay. I, I'm being paranoid. But again, I really don't want to lose that data, though. So let's go ahead and head on back up. And then... Let me make sure everything's lined up there, though. Bart says... Bart still has his Coral Sword's two-handed ability, though. Lena, Ferris... Uh, still have to... Uh, all that, though, but... Okay, yeah, Gal's not gonna be doing a whole lot with this though, but Soul Cannon with the launchers! I hate this boss really bit so much. It is weak it is weak to thunder. Take out those launchers! It is gonna it, it defaults to the It does default to the, the target to It does it does default the target to the Okay, one launcher is down, but again, you want to take out that launcher as fast. You want to take out the launcher as fast for that reason, though. That move right there. That missile right there, that inflicted the old status on, on Lena, though. You want to take these things out so that way you can keep your stats across the board. And you can even multi, you, you can multi-target as well. So hopefully that's going to take out that that launcher. That did not. Bart's take out that launcher. And Galif is inflicted with old as well. Okay, launchers are down. So, so we're going to be... But right, that, that's, the, that's the worst part of, of this fight, though. Is now you can just focus on... Because you focus on that soul cannon, though, heal it when necessary, though. Unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot to, I can really do to spare Lena or or Gala from the old status, though, because I don't have a way to cure it, though. So we're gonna Lena, you're on healing duty, right? For the time being, you're gonna be on healing duty as best as you can. That two-handed, that two-handed thunder thing, though, is, is gonna be is gonna be doing a lot of damage with that coral sword there. So. Pretty much Bart's and Ferris, y'all are on offensive duty though. Galov, Lena, y'all pretty much gonna be on uh Y'all pretty much gonna be on support duty at this point. That wasn't bad for a crit. Lena, you go ahead I think we're okay with, with health for the time being, so you go ahead and try to do some, some damage to it as well. But yeah. Bit of a difference between between the damage between Ferris and Lena right now because because of that old status, and it's just gonna keep getting worse. Firing the wave cannon. This does half of my max HP and and inflicts sap on everyone though. So so at this point you're also gonna have to worry about gonna keep everyone healed as well. But again, without those launches to keep lowering everyone's stats now, this is gonna be much more manageable. The thing is though, this 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 thing has a lot of health. At least Ferris isn't, didn't get afflicted with old, so that means we can. That means that means her healing is going to be consistent as well. And I went I went a little too far there, so Lena, you go and heal up everyone some more, because again, that, that sap is pretty much going to be there pretty much for the rest of the fight. And, and at least it takes a while before that. And at least it takes a while before it'll it'll attack though. Again, and again, the real dangerous part is the 
of the la of the launchers making this uh, inflicting everyone with old to whittle down your stats. And even if I was able to, I did it. It's down. Like I said, I was actually I was actually really worried about ten experience. <laughs> Well, Galf did get a job while with HP plus 10%, though. That, I have to equip that, though. That basically means I've got everything from from the monk job at this point. But yeah, so we can now go through... We can now enter this thing, though. So I guess that's holes the way in. Sure looks like it. Let's... Well, please tell me... I'm gonna go ahead and heal up first real fast, though. I mean, we don't have to fight it again, though, so... I, I'm, I don't... What I don't remember is if the... Is that there's a save spot right at the beginning of this thing though. I don't know. At least again, you have the option to go back and heal in case in case not though. Though which I'm I'm playing I'm gonna be playing it very safe here, but And with that though, I let's, let's go ahead and heal up there. Let's get And with that though, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here though. The Earth Crystal is just up ahead though with that though, but I But I remember this I remember this dungeon being taken a bit of time so I might just save that for its own thing though so as we head out of town we're gonna go ahead and call this video here so next time on Final Fantasy 5 for job fiesta we're gonna go back up to those ruins now that we have a way in and see if we can save the earth crystal see you guys then thank you all for watching